Am I enjoying Street Fighter V? Well, I can't say that I'm fully enjoying it. Yes, the game runs well, the new characters are pretty likable, and the fight system just seems more fluid than before. So, what's wrong? Well, by the time of this video, the game is kinda incomplete. You have the story mode, which was supposed to give some background on the characters, but the individual stories for each character feels kinda bland, with a few exceptions. Also, I beat the whole mode in just about 2 hours, completing 100% with everyone available, because each character has a maximum of 4 fights total, which is not much. There's a small introduction to each battle in the form of a cutscene made of hand-drawn pictures, Pictures and they kinda look good, but what happened to the excellent animation that was present in Street Fighter 4? Some of the stories feel alright, giving some cool background information on the characters, connecting some of the previous entries to this one, but others just feel completely random and out of nowhere. And yes, I know there will be another story mode in a future update that will presumably link this game's timeline to the rest of the series, but for now, this wannabe arcade slash story mode doesn't fulfill the requirements to be neither a proper arcade mode nor a story mode. You can also go to survival mode, where you you fight a preset number of opponents according to the difficulty you choose, and you can fight against other opponents locally or online. Except the servers are a mess and I wasn't able to find a single match in the whole time I've been in the game. I guess it's fine for launch day since nowadays it's pretty common, but after so many beta tests and network stress tests, it's really annoying to still have problems on launch day. Eventually the game will have an update in March and the rest of the features will be available. You'll have challenges that I'll guess will be a trials kind of thing, and the shop will probably unlock new costumes, colors and other items. But until then, the best you can do is finish up the short stories, go into survival, and practice to master a character for fear choosing, for whenever the online is properly functional. I would suggest holding off on purchasing of this game, simply because it's not complete yet. We'll probably do a follow-up video in March once those updates roll out, but as it stands right now, the game isn't worth its price. Until then, you can always go and play Rocket League. I've been Fujitas, see you guys next time.